Second show. Placing third in the class is entry number 19, RLS Juventi Amber Abbey, exhibited by Bailey Larson of Alma Center, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class in the Red Nolan winner is entry number 16, Ray Crest Laramie Quicksilver, exhibited by Mackenzie Reynolds of Corp New York. And winning the class, entry number 11, Seamers Goldwyn Glam CT, exhibited by Jordan and Joshua Seamers of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Garrison, your comments. Well, good morning, everyone. Looking forward to a great uh, youth show, junior show here today. I think we're starting off on the right foot with a really nice class of spring calves uh, from top to bottom. But I think here at the top end, the longer they're out here, the easier this calf is, the winner for me. Uh, comparing her to the top end of calves here, for me, the thing that really kind of sets her apart is the way this heifer handles herself on her rear feet and legs. I think that's one of the decided advantages that she has over the calf that we've got in second. She's a calf that I like to flex in the hawk quite a lot better when you watch them walk from the side. She's just a little deeper in her heel. She's more central in her throw placement. I think that gives her that advantage from really from the hips back. I think just walks out just a little more comfortable, just a bit more stylish on how she handles her top all the time throughout the class. The calf in second though is a tall, long, dairy kind of a calf, and I think she fits pretty logically in the second spot that goes over the calf in third because of that added extension that she has up through her front end. She's just got a little longer bone in her front leg. She blends just a little nicer up through the shoulders. Just a little more open dairy, a little more spring to a rib than the black calf that I've got in third. Made the swap there in the third and fourth calves. When you get them in line, this third calf just holds herself so much better up through the front end. She's quite a lot fuller in her crop. She blends in nicer right behind the shoulders and chine area. It does a similar calf in a lot of ways. Another black calf that I've got in fourth. This fourth calf goes over the calf in fifth. She's just a wider calf all the way through. She's got a lot more width up between her front legs. She's got a lot more width out over her top. And she even carries that width so much better out through her thurls and pins and carries it down, which is a little more width of the hock as well. But this white calf shows me just a little more length to her rib, just a little nicer angle to her rib than another uh, a solid color calf handling out next in line. And it's because of that length to her rib, that openness, and that angle to her rib that she goes over that straight line calf. Really nice class of spring calf.